Hey guys, um, today is quite an important video for me because it is the official uh, first release, the everyone release of the game, how to make Pokey Clicker on Godot. So what I mean by development release is basically it completes the full first batch of features that I wanted to do for this project and the game is doing it right so that's cool and yeah development because well it's not meant to be played but it is playable sort of so maybe we can make a quick tour of all the features which were added and which are in because uh, not everyone has uh, followed the series and especially the lives so you guys probably don't know what's in so anyway we, we do have a system of combat right now so the idea is that based on your team which is right in the corner there you will have attacks that will be used against pokemon so you can either wait for the game to choose a random attack or you can manually click on the button to throw some attacks right that's the first thing. The second thing is at the moment, the capture is automatic. So at the moment you don't own the Pokemon that you defeat, you will try to capture it automatically. That's good. The next thing is um, Pokemons have this little tooltip when you check in the list, you can see their moves and their attack. Then you can click on them to add them to your team and when you do so you actually increase the amount of attacks you have the variety of attacks you have etc etc here you have the locations right so you have well let's move to the rocky hills so here we have these little you know, sparrow and new pokemons so when you get to a new area you have this little thing right there which tells you how many different Pokemon are in the zone so you kind of know uh, if you're missing on something rare that you didn't meet yet and that will happen in the later routes so yeah about the damages I think in the experience I think it's important to tell you exactly how this works so the idea is that whatever the Pokemon you have in your team they will have boosts. So Pokemon in your team basically receive full XP and contributes to full damages. Then uh, all the Pokemon which are not in the team, so right now it's this Nidoran and Spiro, they are considered support. So because of that, they only contribute to a small percentage of their attack and not their full attack. So basically, the most important factor for your team is well, Pokemon's in it, right? If I get rid of the Pokemon here, I have 7 attack. But if I put more Pokemon, I will get 13. Then again, uh, the tooltip here said this is an approximation of the average damage you have. Real damages will differ based on the move used. So yeah. The move used is very important because it has a type, right? And when you do damages from a specific type, um, the Pokemon's of that type will contribute to a certain percentage, while uh, Pokemon with another type will contribute a bit less. So basically support Pokemons of a non-matching type contribute to very little. But the idea is that they still contribute, right? There's another thing to know with the attacks. Um, they basically They have coefficients, so some attacks are stronger than others. So to make this um, simple, Thunder Shock is weaker than Thunder Bolt. Water Pulse is stronger than Water Gun, etc. etc. Um, just so you don't try to overthink it too much, Peck and Gust have exactly the same damages. So don't try to um, go too far on this one. 
Yeah, and there's just one more thing, which I think is quite important. Uh, so here we have the forest surrounding. So if you've been following uh, the development of the game, you know this area already, because that's where we have a catapult, the widow, and the PJs. But there is something very important. I spent so much time basically filling the databases. So, in short, right now in the game, there are 106 Pokemon, there are 52 attacks and 24 routes, right? So that's the actual content in the game right now. So this is something you can try for yourself to play it and see how this is going. And there's two ways you can try the game. The first way is by just cloning the project on Godot and running it, right? That's the simplest way. The second way is if you don't have Godot, whatever, um, you can download the link, which is going to be in the description, and that will lead you to a link in my drive where you will have a zip file with the executable of the game. So that, that will basically you will have an executable and a PCK file. You just need to have those two together somewhere and you run the executable and that's it. You will have the game. The save will be in the app updater roaming. Uh, oh yes, because of course there's, there's a save system, right? If I, if I close the game and open it again, um, we saved. So that's cool. So right now, that's pretty much what everyone knows. Okay. Um, we have the route one, route two, route three, and the forest is already in the new part of the game. So if you've been following the development, you don't know what's after this one. And there's 21 routes more than this, including what I would call an end game route which is which has very strong pokemon and you you will get it and what's quite interesting is that if you um the the road is not linear okay so um i don't have a visual map at the moment to show you where is going where but you can try to make it yourself by basically every time you get in a new zone uh you will wait for uh 10 pokemons to be defeated and that will unlock new areas and from there you can try to make a little chart to see where is going where so yeah the map is not linear and the very end game zone can be accessed i don't want to say early on but way faster than finishing the game all right so yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Um, now that we went through the uh, game aspect, I want to show you uh, a list of the things that were added. Because a lot of things were added off camera uh, to make this first version possible. So the idea is that I basically will show you everything and you will tell me if you want to see some specific features in videos, right? Because there's just so many things I not in the right now. The project is not to make a video on every feature. That's why I raced uh, without making videos. But uh, if you've been following the series and if you want to see a specific feature explained, I will do it, right? So that's that's the point. So let's go in this little history here, so we can see what happened, and um, well, so I can show you, right? So you know what you can ask about. So let's see, and that's around this point, right? So. I begin by changing the experience system so that we use a formula, a mathematical formula, instead of ifs. That's good. There I added the calculation for the attack and I added a starter. Then I just reduced the texture of the Pokeball. 
Uh, there I added capture rates to each Pokemon in the database. I just populated a few routes, creating the team display, which is this thing on the top right, uh, which allows you basically to choose uh, which Pokemon you want in your team. Then I added the types to the game. So at first it was just the types, right? They, they did nothing, but Pokemon and those had types. Oh, the lights as well. Wait, let me turn this on. Um, then I added a method to add a level to the starter. So it starts level five and not one. And then I was working on the attack system. So here we generate attacks based on the current team. And I finished the attack system in a live, so that's the first live, if I remember correctly. After that, we, we've had the rework of the damage system, so I'm not sure if this is... Okay, so there's a shadow behind me. Just give me a sec. Um, I don't remember exactly if this is when the types were added to the damages no it's actually there for well, my bad but anyway and just improving the damage there i added a timer to prevent player from spamming attacks uh, with clicks added a color indicator for attack space oh yeah so just um colored the uh attack the moves because well it was very hard to know which move which was which one, right? Right now you can just try to pick the colors. Um, there we added new attacks to the game, so now there's so much more. And then here we have a pack of additions, which are root unlock system, the Pokemon tooltips to show their attack and their moves. And we changed the starter from Bulbasaur to Pikachu. Then I added the save and load system. And we have this super huge ass uh, permit, which I did on a Sunday. Like I spent the, so much time making this. So I added new Pokemon's roots and moves. Then I changed the capture system to be automatic and I added some visual infos on the combat view, uh, which are basically the um, amount of Pokemon you've defeated and how many Pokemon you can meet on the road. So you know if you're actually still missing a rare Pokemon or if you're actually done with the route. So anyway, there's a few things I will push after that. But yeah, the point is that all this will basically be pushed by the time the video is released. So if you want to play the game, uh, well, do it, of course, it's it's the point. But if you want to share your experience, like um, sharing with other players um, what you're discovering, etc., etc., um, you can come in the Discord and share your experience. I would love to know how how it's going for you to try this. Like, it's not meant to be like the first playable version, but it's still already very fun to go through. Like, I've had lots of fun exploring all the regions, even knowing what was coming next like it was it was very fun um and the last thing uh is basically i didn't have much um i want to say feedbacks on the series like i had things like this is great and stuff now okay but sort of i'd like to know or have a little a bit of sneak peek of what you guys are doing so if you guys are working on project based on this series like you're making a clicker is whatever is similar or not it doesn't even have to be pokemon related right like it's just a support um well if you want to share your projects uh and show show me what you're doing show people what you're doing it could be cool if you could like jump on the discord and show your projects so yes yeah, so that we can give you feedbacks and positive Motivational feedbacks. <laughs> I'm out of words. My brain is shutting down now, so I think I'm just gonna wrap it up. Um, yeah. I hope you like this video, and I hope you will like this first version of the game. 
and I will see you in the next video, which will be on whatever subject. So anyway, see you and take care.